Hey YouTubers, this is Ram Van Bobby. Um, just uh, checking in with you guys. I hope you're doing well. Um, just wanted to uh, touch on a few things that um, I just uh, watched. Um, a subscriber right now post a video, and I just wanted to uh, touch on a few things that just really stood out to me. Um, you know, um, as you guys probably know, I do have an older motorhome. I have a 73, 1973 Dodge Winnebago, uh, Indian motorhome. It's 23 feet in length. Um, and I've, I've had this motorhome for a, a pretty long time. Um, and I was looking for this particular kind of motorhome because I wanted this kind. And, um, anyways, um, a long story short, um, the reason why I purchased this motorhome, and I purchased it at the time when I was caregiving for my grandmother, and, you know, things weren't going very well with her, and, um, you know, I, I'd always did this kind of lifestyle in cars and trucks that I had in the past, it just, something that kind of stood out to me, but it didn't really come to like full blown surface until I started um, watching um, YouTube videos this goes back maybe about five years ago um, and the one that really started this spark for me was uh, Chad living the van life and um, you know the minute I started watching his videos it just totally man it just totally like sparked a, a flame of fire in me like where I just totally went head over heels in love with this lifestyle so anyways I um at the time I purchased the motorhome and um you know I knew that you know I knew that this one was going to need work but I I still wanted it so I had purchased it and um it's it's been in a storage I I I had got it. It was running when I got it. I drove it around for a while and I did some camping in it and I couldn't do very much in it because like I said I was a caregiver for my grandmother for about seven years and then she ended up going into a nursing home. She got dementia and it just um it was sad. You know, I um I had to transition um life you know, immediately from living with her in a senior apartment to basically living I had a van too you know I went to my van but I I adjusted to it right away you know I wasn't shy to any because I've been planning for this for a long time so anyways um as you guys probably know I work in the city okay I work as a security guard that's the kind of work that I do um I've done, I had a towing business that, um, you know, it went down the tubes and I had some guys that were robbing me for money and it just, you know, things happened, you know, it just, it went down from there. So I had to go back to being a guard, which I didn't want to do because I know how this business is as well. So, but at the time, you know, I needed a job, still do need a job and anyways, you know that's where I'm at right now um I do have an older van I have a 1983 Dodge Ram van uh, B150 um, I've had that van for I would say almost 20 years um, it's a slant six cylinder it has a four speed manual on the floor um, yes it is, it is an original 1983 Pete Ellis van Pete Ellis Dodge van um and um that's been my house i would say for about almost the last almost five years um i've been in that and the reason why i haven't scooted to the motorhome because you know the motorhome i just i figure you know yeah there are places here i can park in the in the city where other rvs park but you know i just I haven't I haven't pushed it too hard because I just don't want to I don't want to get stopped or I don't want to get you know I don't want to push that too hard yet so 
anyways I've been doing the van thing ever since and um that's where I'm at and um you know I've been trying to um fix my motorhome better so I can make it more better road worthy and more reliable and where I can scoot to this you know because I don't want this to sit here I'm paying storage for this you know and I don't want this to sit in here anymore and I want to eliminate the storage so you know that's where I'm at right now guys and I'm struggling right now because um you know I don't make a lot of money and you know my money that I do make you know it's 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 going into this and you know of course I mean yeah I gotta eat and all that other good stuff you know I have to pay for a gym membership and you know all that stuff so you know there are struggles with this but um you know a big part of me wants to get rid of the van but there's a part of me that doesn't and my thing is I just don't want to be without a place to stay okay I don't if this thing has to go into the shop which I always try to avoid um you know I'm not a mechanic okay I I can do things certain things but I can't do everything okay there's there's another channel that I watch out there and I'm pretty sure that he'll know what I'm talking about that's uh, uh RV living that guy knows his stuff you know he he does a lot of cool things on his RV and you know I like his channel you know I just um I like what he's what he does and um you know um you know, I wish I was that skilled where I could do things like that, but I, I'm I'm not, you know. So anyways, this is where I'm at guys right now and um right now I'm in the process right now I'm I'm rebuilding the temperature system on my motor home and that's where I'm at right now guys. I'm rebuilding that right now and I'm you know chasing parts for an older engine like this is it's hard. It's it's difficult. You know, you can't just go into any auto parts store. I mean, I have found some parts. I really have, you know, and there has some, been some parts that I've had to purchase out of state. But um, that's where I'm at right now, guys. And, um, you know, hopefully if all well goes well, you know, I'll be in my, my motorhome soon. I, I pray because, um, you know... I, I, I want to be in this, you know, this is what I want to be in, you know, I'm getting older now, and, you know, yeah, I'm not going to lie to you, yeah, I want to be in a comfortable bed, it's nice, you know, yeah, I want to, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, there are times that I want to, I want to stay put, and, you know, I don't want to stay in the lo in the same place for a long period of time, but there are times that I want to, you know, lay down for the day, or, you know, I want to, play my xbox or whatever you know just whatever you know and yeah i can do all that in a van and stuff but you know i you know some days i want to be outside all the time and some days i just don't you know so me i'm the kind of guy i need variety i i need i need to see different i can't just do the same thing all the time you know or, or be in the same vehicle all the time i need to see different so you know, yeah, I do want to do the traveling thing, and that's why I'm I'm pushing for this motorhome. So, right now, I don't know quite yet if I'm going to get rid of the van or I'm going to keep it. Um, I'm trying to lean towards more getting rid of it, but we'll just see what happens. You know, this is where I'm struggling at right now. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to make this little video <clears throat> and let you know where I'm at and, um, you know, um, yeah, you know, that's where it's at, so, I hope you guys have a good day, and God bless you all, and, um, you know, thank you, and peace, guys.